Hello, my name is Hareton Watko. Welcome to our program. Now, how would I best start the topic? Today is going to be United Defense. But before I delve into that, I'd like to give a quick briefer on what exactly we are talking about and why. Now, the topic will go about manufacturing. It will talk about sufficiency, self-sufficiency. It will talk about sustainability. Now, we're not talking the environment. I'm talking about the country. Now, in the 60s, we were known to be one of the first countries in the ASEAN. I mean, can you imagine we were the first in the, uh, the mothballed nuclear power plant? And even before that, we were manufacturing our own refrigerators, the stoves, whatnot. The next, the next step would have been car manufacturing. Sadly, these manufacturing companies were sold out or moth mothballed, and we have lost the edge. Now, when it comes to agriculture, I guess, somewhat, somehow, some way, rather than progressing and going forward, we went backwards instead of industrializing our agriculture. So we have all these issues today. Now, when we talk of sustainability, you're talking of a country that actually makes its stuff. Hindi pwede import tayo import kung hindi forever tayo dependent on many other countries that will get our natural resource, bring it out, bring it back in, tas bibili natin, mahal na. Can you imagine? That's, that's ridiculous. It's like having our rice. Uh, we are farmers, our land, and then we export, and we buy it in ready-made bags. I mean, come on. Nowadays, self-sufficiency has a lot to do with the country's independence. It also has a lot to do with being a patriot and having that thought, that single thought, that nationalism that you can st actually stand alone. Let's talk about manufacturing, and let's talk about sustainability and self-sufficiency. Did you know that all our arms, for example, which we seem to require with all the bandits and terrorists around us, not to mention the politics of call, which is called our neighbors and the big bullies around us, we actually have to import them. We have had to import them rather than having them manufactured properly in the country. Does that mean we do not have the talent? The answer is no. The answer is we have the talent. We have almost everything except the politics has not allowed it to be such. Now, I know this is off topic when it comes to the barangay elections, meaning that's going to happen in a week's time. But let's leave all the different oligarchs and politicians to scramble over the millions that is being distributed. I just heard just this morning, 650 billion pala ginagastos ng mga barangay, but let's leave that to another show. Today we'll talk about self-sufficiency and manufacturing. I'm talking about United Defense. Exactly, what does that mean? We will explain that to you. We have from United Defense Manufacturing, we have the Chairman, Gene Carino. Gene, hi, welcome to the show. Thanks, Harry. And we also have uh, Commander Leo M. Almazan, USN Retired Project Director of UDMC. Is that correct, UDMC? Yes. Thanks, Leo. Leo, I understand. Uh, Americano ka noon, you were with the armed forces ng Americano, no? I yes, mean, I was. Naval, naval forces of the U.S. Correct. So you were trained um, not as a soldier to go down or in the Navy, but you were in the technical side. Is that correct? No, I was both. I was both a user, and user, and a developer. May harap sabihin user, baka sabihin drugs, <laughs> di ba? Ano, pusher or user? No, I, I was using uh, equipment that was uh, developed by uh, Space and Naval Weapons, uh, Warfare Centers in San Diego. And you're also now with the Balik Sciences Program Correct. because we're now trying to get all the brains that we have, the Filipinos have to redo yes, our own. Gene, let's go back to United Defense. Give us a quick background, what it does and what it manufactures. And most of all, your significance natin, why we have a United Defense. All right, Harry. Well, um, uh, right now we, we had successfully uh, joined public bidings. Uh, as you probably recall, when we met a few years ago, we had this um, problem 
joining, yes, he did. joining uh, which public is, biddings. Yes, all right, which is because why I was very frustrated. I remember. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, two things. The uh, problem was the uh, single largest contract, which is required under Republic Act 9184. Secondly, uh, the Armed Forces of the Philippines required that the arms that they will be buying should be used by at least two NATO countries or is being used by the army of, of the, the country of origin. origin. Which is us, the PAC. Oh, 